hello my alien students welcome back so we are in part two of this uh, beautiful project okay i hope everyone is fresh today fresh and energized as they say okay so first thing is before we start any project okay generally what i do is i do something called as cleanup okay actually our aim is to do this well i have done this actually maybe if you see my series of classes before this is what we need to do now first thing is to do the architectural stuff i believe i have done this if you do not know how i did it i tell you how i did it okay it's something very simple okay first uh we are in autocad isn't it we are in autocad oh beautiful this is an xref okay see the guy who has done this drawing okay he has done as an xref he has put e external walls okay i just create one copy here okay and that's the story that's it my first aim would be okay to create this part in autocad okay uh, sorry in rivet okay so we're going to create levels grids etc etc okay my i think this they have given this section of view uh, if you cannot see it okay uh, gutter and blah blah slope is here okay, that's the roof finish floor it's not very visible actually anyway okay total three five zero zero that's the flooring so let's say 4.3 okay looks good okay so at least let's say a minimum of block wall okay let's say 4.3 meters uh, 4 yeah 43 plus 43.4 44.4 what we can what i look forward is 100 millimeter slab 4.304 meter okay no worries so let's say 4 meter yeah if things are becoming a uh, funny i show you one story right click add uh, selected okay okay so this is our story levels will be from okay so level 0 4 1 1 5 level 2 okay this is the first thing we'll have to do in rivet okay the levels are most important the second thing we'll be creating the grids okay so part two or let's say part three would be doing the levels and grids and then we yeah after we insert sorry we'll be inserting the file and then inserting the yeah inserting the autocad file and then you know linking them creating the levels and grids and the wall what's the thickness of the wall it should be written somewhere i think instead of we finding it just click two points looks 200 yeah 200 beautiful 200 millimeter wall outer wall is 200 generally i like to have it point to point what's the story 200 and i think the interior wall is also 200 no 200 listen 100 okay so we will be cleaning stuff here first we'll be drawing something like this okay this will be our first part of the story just drawing the interior okay do you like to explore it okay explode it we'll see what's the story beautiful we don't want this we just need the exterior walls mm -hmm. m0 layer wall okay good isn't it okay so next uh, st no sorry the next class we will be first drawing on these walls in 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 rivet and then moving forward from there okay i hope you have no comments for this any doubts you shall put you shall type it in the um, comment section okay okay i think that's it for today i just want to ask one request for all my students who are watching this class or whatever maybe the story 
if you really enjoy the class hit the like button okay? if you if you love the class or if you like you know i think john you know you like to be famous share the uh, what is this video okay okay anyway take care and we see each other in the next class we're going to see each other fresh in the next class we're going to start this beautiful project and i think that's it okay yalla bye